the mail. Now let's talk about the mail. Can we talk about the mail, please, Mac? I'm dying to talk about the mail for you all day, okay? Pepe Sylvia, this name keeps coming up over and over again. Every day, Pepe's mail's getting sent back to me. Pepe Sylvia, Pepe Sylvia. I look in the mail, with well, this whole box is Pepe Sylvia. So I say to myself, I gotta find this guy. I gotta go up to his office. I gotta put his mail in the guy's goddamn hands. Otherwise, he's never gonna get it. He's gonna keep coming back down here. So I go up to Pepe's office, and what do I find out, Mac? What do I find out? There is no Pepe Sylvia. The man does not exist, okay? So I decided, oh, shit, buddy. I got to dig a little deeper. There's no Pepe Sylvia. You got to be kidding me. I got boxes full of Pepe. All right, so I... You're sweating. Relax. Take a deep breath. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Hello. Hey, I had my thing muted. I'm sorry. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's okay. Um, I got some articles. Uh, but if you want to do the mailbag first, that's well. It's your show. Yeah, you could start yes. with articles. Hey, yeah. Rhea. Hey, H. Bartz. Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, let me make sure to. I gotta go like the stream. Uh, well, the title is uh, Mailbag, so let's start with Mailbag. Okay. Well, let me make set up the articles. Sure. Let me make sure to like the stream first before I forget. Uh, well, you have a couple channels. Where is it? Okay, here it is. Okay. All right. And I'll tweet it out as well. I'm bringing up the mailbag. I'm going to get that ready here. If uh, Rhea and H parts want to add some more questions to the mailbag, that, that, that could be cool. If you're, if you're, if you have the time as sure. well. Um, if you want to send the link to anyone else, that would be good. I'm going to put it in the, Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong one. There we go. All right. We have the mailbag here. Oh, what's what do you have going on in the background? What is that? CJ. Oh, it's a uh, astronaut. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Let me make this bigger here. Uh so Anthony Grigsby says, Hey Max and Team MME. Would like to hear everyone's take on the speculation with Henry returning. From Sill to Casey Walsh, it seems more likely now that we'll see Superman return and Black Adam and hopefully future projects. Absolutely, Anthony. And uh, we miss Anthony as well. Hopefully one day we'll do another uh, MME International, get Anthony to host. Um, I think it's very possible. If, it, if he's not in Black Adam, I'll be real. Uh, I'm going to be a little salty. Because of things I was told by, uh, you know, scoopers. Hey, Aaron, how's it going? I'm good. Yeah, I'm, I, I am. My expectations are to see Cavill and Black Adam based on uh, watching um, Syl and Mikey. They say it's going to happen. So I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt until it doesn't. And then if it doesn't happen, I'm not going to be angry at them but and be like you know what why was i told so many times consistently uh, this is gonna happen i just don't want people's hopes to yeah so high on this like my hopes are high on it my hopes are high on it well if he doesn't show up i just don't want to be like oh heartbroken i am gonna be heartbroken <laughs> but that, let, I... let me let me get my ex because because part of part of fandom to me is getting excited don't... for stuff I just don't want people to go into this like multiverse of madness expecting to see a bunch of cameos. No, I just, going. Yeah. I just want to see Cavill. Go ahead, CJ. I would personally like to see a standalone Superman movie without Cavill. My problem that's is that's just me. My problem yeah. is I would still like to see Cavill for sure, but I'll, I would want to see is, a I would like to see Batman and uh, not Batman. Black Adam fight Superman. 
But I want Shazam to be the one that beats Black Adam in the future film or something. Because this is Shazam. This is really Shazam's villain. Shazam should be the one to beat Black Adam, in my personal opinion. Like, that's what I think. Shazam? Yeah. Because it's his, it's, it's his villain, right? And I think, look, for example, do you want Superman to beat the Joker or do you want Batman to beat the Joker? You see my point there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Superman would probably kill the Joker no, like he did that, in the video game. No, that's not my point. My point is, yeah, that's, he would, but my point is I don't want to see <coughs> Superman be the one defeating the Joker. I want to see Batman beating the Joker because Joker and Batman go, and go with each other where Shazam and Black Adam go with each other. But would you be happy, CJH, if Cavill comes back? If you get another Super? Oh, movie? for sure. Like if we got another Man of Steel movie, sure, I'd be happy. But I, I don't know. Part of me just wants a standalone Superman movie. Well, they the rumor the style of, them, of the Batman. It doesn't have to oh, connect to the Batman. Like a younger, like a younger. It fresh. just has, yeah. Okay. Just give us a new story. Okay. Well, the rumors are that if he does come back, it's going to do. They might do Man of Steel two before Justice League returns or anything like that. They might give him Man of Steel two. I mean, that that's that's probably a smart decision. Hmm. Uh, so Will Will Wallace says so. The reviews for Amazon's Lord of the Rings seem really good. More people seem to be excited for it than dreading it for wokeness. How will the menace spin this into a loss when the show is a hit? Well, because they're gonna they're gonna do all these report. They're gonna probably have Josiah doing all these reports on the budget versus the results. Same thing uh, over and over again. The same yeah. talking points they always have. But I'm super excited. Who here is excited for it? Wow. <laughs> uh, Lord of the Rings. Oh. Yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> no. Oh, well, it's not connected to the movies. I don't really. I might watch the first episode, but that's it. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna watch it. But I, I'm assuming that's how they're gonna spin it. Is well, the budget doesn't justify this 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 average, um, this but average uh, reception. You spend the show. They're gonna call it a bomb, regardless. Yeah, because they're spending the show. It's gonna be like the first billion dollar show, it's, um, because they're gonna have like five seasons or something, like two hundred million or something like that. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be the. So if it doesn't do well, they're gonna obviously they're gonna do their same talking points. Max, actually, you know, they're not gonna come up with something new. We know they're gonna do the repeating, the repeats. They're just gonna repeat like a parrot. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we have a uh, we have some more questions here. Mass vigilante. Um. Hey, Max, I just wanted to drop by and say, keep up the amazing work you're doing on your videos. And do you have any thoughts about the Saints Road games? Have you ever played any of them? Or are you not really interested in the franchise? I appreciate that they exist. I think they're like a more fun Grand Theft Auto from what I see. They're like crazier. I'm happy they exist. It's I'm just not it's just not my style of game. But honestly, if I was going to play one, I'd probably play Saints Row over Grand Theft Auto. Uh, CJH, Aaron, have you played Saints uh, Row? The Saints Row remake? I think or three. the original? Because I, I loved the fourth one. The fourth one is better. I think he just means any of them. Uh, I, I've played all the originals. I ah. don't like the look of the Saints Row remake. Oh, really? Yeah. And I'm probably not going to buy it until they fix... All the, like, uh, what is it, bugs and all that. Sure, sure, I can understand that. Because uh, it would be just another cyberpunk situation. I'd probably go back and buy the original copy instead of the remake. I only Especially if it's, there are a lot of them are, are backwards compatible for a lot of stuff too. Uh, Rhea hasn't played Saints Row. Uh, that might be funny for you to do on a, a one of your let's plays, right? Is, is do yeah. one of these wacky? Uh, it's like it's a more fun version of Grand Theft Auto. It is. Yeah. 
Uh, okay, let's see what else we got here. Chubby Teddy Monster Productions. Hey, Max, would you like to see Blade Runner 3? Or do you think it's fine to leave Blade Runner 2049 alone? Um, uh, I didn't watch Blade Runner 49 yet. 2049. I, I plan to. But you gotta get on I, that. I, well, to be honest, I, I'm confused about the first Blade Runner. Like, which version do I watch? A lot What's of people recommend to... the Final Cut. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, yeah, I, it can be confusing. I, I think they're very similar. I, I assume that they're mostly similar stories, though, even with the different edits. But I think people most recommend Final Cut is the one to watch. And then I have to rewatch Blade Runner 2049. I only watched it once or twice. Uh, honestly, I think Denny Villeneuve has, uh, what's this? Wave Racers 64 video call. <laughs> uh, I love Wave Race. H-Port says, row one and two are great. Three is okay. Four is bad, and the reboot is dreadful. Hmm. I honestly think if if Denny Denny Villeneuve is probably going to finish Dune and then move on to something else, I don't think he's coming back to Blade Runner. I think and Blade I don't, I, done. I don't think they would do Blade Runner out now without. I don't think Ridley wants to come back after Denny Villeneuve made a project that they might even say is better than Max. the first Blade Runner. And I don't think what? that. I think if they do anything, they should do a series. What was the reception of Blade Runner forty nine to forty nine? I enjoyed it. I was over and positive, right? People would the the fans liked it. I thought there wasn't a lot of backlash or anything from it. I don't think they're gonna go. I don't know. I, don't I know. played Saints Row Four on my channel. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty fun game. Get to almost be like a superhero in the Matrix type. Thing. Degrassi says the narration is the biggest difference in OG Blade Runner. Hey, Degrassi. Good to see you here. Too. So what do you think, CJ? Should they leave it alone or Aaron? Yeah, leave it alone. Leave it probably... depends. I'd have to watch it to really come up with an opinion whether or not. But honestly, I would rather see newer things newer things yeah but i mean the could see the the fans do demand stuff even though they complain about it they still actually demand to see it um uh, i get you though i get you all right will wallace says have you seen the Samar samaritan trailer with stallone as a retired superhero yeah. in hiding? yes i've seen it well aaron watch your mic bro you keep like hurt my ears Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, I I know about this project. I haven't. I don't think I've seen the trailer. I've seen stills. Now I want to watch it. Uh, does that interest you, CJH? A retired oh, superhero Stallone in hiding. Oh yeah, I saw that trailer. It looks pretty interesting. I I'm open to any original superhero movie. That's not like Marvel or DC or any like comic book property. Hmm. Like, I, I yeah. Know if you've ever watched the movie Super, it's, it, it, isn't it sad? Like all all the superhero movies, uh, all the superhero content that we get on the big screen, besides like Bloodsport, but, but no, that movie Bloodshot with Vin Diesel, it's always been DC or Marvel. Where the non DC Marvel superhero movies are always like on streaming services. Have you noticed that? Yeah. <laughs> I want to see, I want to see none Marvel and DC. Like I love Marvel and DC, but I want to see none Marvel and DC movies. Movies, man, on the big screen. We gotta support these third. You gotta support these independent companies, these comic book companies that have their shine on the big screen. That's why I'm so. That's why I'm pushing the Spawn stuff, because that's mm. that's huge. Spawn was huge back in the '90s. Degrassi is saying uh, Blade Runner 2099 at Amazon. Maybe I'll uh, 
look that up. Is that accurate, Bogrossi? Are you giving us a scoop there? 2099. The grassy knows. We're knows getting everything. scoops on the CJH podcast right here. Oh, look. Oh, okay. Well, we have an article to bring up here. Uh, well, let's, uh, if you want to put that on, take that down for a second. Uh, I didn't know this. Hold on. Let me share. You mean, oh. you did know this. This is, you talked about this. With did the Star I? Trek stuff. Yeah. We told you he's going to do direct Fantastic Four. Remember? That's why you left Star Trek. Oh, Ray is saying, no, there is actually, I Googled it. He's, oh, oh, this. Okay. What a top breaking news. <laughs> Honestly, I would rather see Ridley Scott finish his Prometheus trilogy. Uh, I would like that too, but I don't think it's going to happen. No, it, the, the, the sequel to Prometheus wasn't. <laughs> Blade Runner exactly. 2099 live action sequel series from Ridley Scott. Okay. Series Blade Runner 2099, a follow-up to the feature film sequel, Blade Runner 2049. Silka Luisa, showrunner of Apple TV, Apple TV Plus's upcoming Elizabeth Moss fronted series, Shining Girls, is writing executive producing Blade Runner 2099. Oh, okay, we didn't know this. The first Literally. Blade Runner live action series is a priority development at Amazon Studios, which is fast-tracking scripts and eyeing potential production date staffing is currently underway for writers to join a room scott may direct if the series moves forward sources say okay oh, we didn't i didn't i didn't know there was a sequel in the works <laughs> mm-hmm. well, spray ray didn't believe it yeah. uh, <laughs> so i i googled it just check see the grassy brings the brings the facts let me uh Got some articles in the private chat there. The okay. Zavslav wants to restore Snagverse apparently. No, he doesn't. <laughs> well, you don't know. You don't know, no, he Aaron. He doesn't. Come on. You don't you don't know, Aaron. You don't know what I he wants do to know. do. It, listen, all we know is that he wants to focus on the Trinity. And what storylines have the Trinity? Yeah, but it doesn't mean it's a, it doesn't have to. Be, it doesn't mean it's not a continuation either. People get people get worked up in all these wars on each side. Um, that doesn't mean it's a continuation. Well, if you uh, have the characters that were there, it's some type of continuation. There's no such thing as Snyderverse because oh my cause, god, because Warner Bros. owns it, so it's no such thing as Snyderverse. Okay, we're getting these weird arguments. Okay, well, it's true. <laughs> it's not true. Yeah, it is. They don't own. They, Snyder doesn't own the characters. That's true. He doesn't own them, but it's a continuation. <laughs> that, would in some like, manner. Uh, that would be like if uh, John Favreau verse was what the MCU was called. All right. So let's uh, get here. There's a couple more questions from the members mailbag. Abraham Khan, WB can't catch a break with the drama. Oh, let me also post this on our community section for people that haven't that, so they know where the mailbag questions were answered. Uh, let me post that here. <laughs> community. Damn it. What am I doing? Sorry, go ahead. CJH, I'm gonna just be a moment. Yeah. Rhea, um, the Shazam stuff, they're just they're just putting on the final touches. So no, they're not adding scenes, they're just putting on the final touches. That's what probably the director said. There's just a few things they have to um just work on. It's not a lot, apparently. That's why they moved it to March, and also they don't want to compete with Avatar and also Black Panther um Wakanda Forever comes out in the month before, and those are two Disney projects. And there's a good chance those two movies will make a billion each, even possibly more. Well, probably more. And Shazam will suffer because of that. And it's, it's a smart decision, business decision to move it to to March. But there is, but there is a little stuff the the the, the final touches on that film too. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, because we all, we all suspected that Shazam would ha- have to move because we knew it would suffer, right? Like from Avatar and Black Panther. Like, Black Panther would probably still go strong into December. Ray, we got to have a, a Nintendo emulation stream. I really want to go against you on why the Wii U is better than the Switch. Switch to the Wii U. I am Switch enjoying... What? The Switch is better. No, it's not! <laughs> it's not! The Wii U is superior. The Wii U lasted like three years. They had to make the Switch. The Wii U, you have motion controls, so you can play... You still have motion controls on the Switch, but it's better incorporated. You can play... M- most Nintendo games on the Wii U. And you could put an external hard drive where you can actually fit a lot of games on like the SD cards on the Switch, which you can only have so much. That's true. Oh, I just like the React. To but you have to admit overall later. you have to admit overall the Wii U is not like And you could you could play a lot of these ports that get to the Switch in their original intended form. A lot of these Wii U games have some really cool functions. Star Fox, I've been going back and playing Star Fox for the Wii U. It is extremely underrated. It's awesome. Yes. It's yeah, I wanna I wanna battle you, Rhea. Sally the Wii U. Switch Sally to the Wii, Wii U. Switch Bus- to the Wii U. Sally business wise, the Wii U is uh, a flop, as Anthony would say, because Switch a- came up came up four years later. That's not Name good for you- console stuff. GameCube games are amazing on there, and then also we use Wii Sports is better, I believe, than the current Wii Sports on the Wii, on the Switch. Yeah, the end you could play DS games on a modded yes, uh, you Wii U, where you can have your tablet be the bottom screen. You have so many options. Do you still own your Wii U, though, Rhea? Yeah, so she does. I only have Xbox. No, she, she has the PC. One of them. I and, own my Wii U still. And the last great... that That's the game, though. Do you still own your, own your console, though? Um, that And the last great light gun system. <laughs> All right, sorry, I'm derailing it. I'm love. I'm loving the Wii U. Uh, no, no, you're you're not de- derailing. Okay, Actually helping. Uh, Abraham Khan, WB can't catch a break from the drama around Olivia Wilde and Florence Pugh. Won't do press for the film except as the Venice Film Festival premiere. Do you think this could affect its box office? I didn't realize it was WB. It is WB. I don't, oh boy. I don't know if it could affect the box office stuff. It's, Stuff like this, controversy like this, can actually make people want to see the movie. Like, mm. I don't think. Look, look. Do you think general audiences would care? You think general audiences would know about this? Uh, I don't think it's getting as much attention oh, as the Ezra be, stuff. To be honest with you, I think the general audiences only care about the big blockbuster movies these days. I anyway. think. It, I think it's a disaster for Olivia Wilde because she's for Olivia Wilde. From, yeah. She's transitioned from just an actress to directing. I think she did some other directing too. And her productions are not going smooth along with her other controversies with her personal her life. Rep, it's not her, helping her. Her rep is definitely took a major hit. I mean, her after that t- video just got posted on Twitter, her reputation definitely, definitely. Oh. oh, what's this? Oh, and, uh, oh she, you this? didn't put the sound? Good, okay. All you right. didn't put the sound. Don't put the sound. Right. Don't put the sound. Uh, no, it's fine. It's my channel. So I I get copyright claims all the time. <laughs> okay. Jim Gordon never gave up on anything. That's why Who's Gotham City still with here. May Tona? With May, with May? That's why I'm still here. And I've known for a while now that someday, like him, I'd have to work with you. Jason Todd looks buffed, huh? I've seen plenty of criminals in my career, but nothing could have prepared me for this. I haven't seen this yet. Mm 
Well, well, if it isn't Brat Girl. I don't know if I like that voice actor stuff. Is that her weakest? There's blood in the water. The core sharks are circling. Play safe. They're all making Freeze, their moves. Play nice. But we aren't going to give up. What are those zombies? A storm has risen over Gotham. Nothing can stop it. <laughs> See you at the premiere. I need your help. Your skills. Your knowledge. Your adaptability. Oh, talent. You got my back? Oh, boys! This biopic is based on a true story. My story. Soon, the world will feel the cold as I do. I got one last little surprise for you. To watch the show, Red Hood. Nah, I'm just here to kick your ass. Pre order now and get. That looks cool. That. I'm getting that. Yeah. I have awesome. to wait. Hopefully. I hope we come. Oh, probably right. be smart to wait though, because a lot of games they come out buggy and Yeah, well I just have to wait because of financials. <laughs> that too. Uh, games are expensive. The Grassi's talking about the they're talking about the new PS controller PlayStation do what it didn't look that great to me. The Grassi. What do you think Rhea. of the price? Oh, well, they're not t saying the price. Um, I do like I do like the dual, the regular Dual Sense. The Dual Sense already feels like a premium controller, so I'm like, it doesn't look that much better. I, like I don't I don't really like. I mean, I could. I'm not. I don't, I don't hate know. the back panels on the controller, but I'm like, I don't need them. I don't know why. Microsoft does a better job of designing the controllers. I mean, like, they should do a better job. It's hard sometimes, you know. No, I I actually prefer the PS5 controller of the Series yeah, me X. Too. But yeah, I'm just, me too. For a premium, though, I just I think the base PS5 controller was uh was pretty good. Controllers are expensive these days too, man. Mwah. They're almost as much as a game now controller. Yeah. Pretty All right. Well, uh, let's get to the last. Uh, there's a Beige few more. Parts, yeah. Let's see. <coughs> let's refresh it just to make sure there wasn't any more. Oh, he left two. Okay, good. Uh, how <laughs> long do you plan on being in the MCU? When I when I go after the Fantastic Four. I plan on winning the MCU H Barts. I'm gonna take out the Fantastic Four, take out the Avengers. I'm not. Pl I'm not planning to end. I'm, Max planning, stands I'm planning to end the MCU. Max stands the tall. Doc the doc end. Doctor Mother F and Doom. Yeah, he, Matt. He stands tall in the end. We can't see the last one H Bart or uh, CGH. Okay. Uh, and then the last question is, if you don't like Avatar 2, are you going to make me see 3? Please don't. No, because it's going to get expensive. It's already expensive. I can't afford to send everyone the, the Avatar 3. There, is, 3 is going to happen regardless of 2 success or not. Is 3 going to come like a year right after 2? I think a year or 2. Maybe 2 years. Because can, you, can you imagine if 3 comes out? 2023 against Aquaman because Aquaman has been moved all the way to December, Christmas Day, December next year. <laughs> Did you see uh, this trailer yet? No, I didn't. I've been I've been slacking on the trailers. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the eighth wonder of the world. The one and only I know it was real. Oh. <laughs> Turn around. Let me get a look at you. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty creepy. Pinocchio is yeah. around. I don't know. It was in the, like, the criticism of Lion King. Yeah. It's going straight to Disney+. I like the fox. It's going straight to Disney+. Plus. Why on earth would you want to be real when you can be? The battle for me. Pinocchio okay, should have been home by now. Pinocchio! That might be a strike. He won't yeah. be a puppet anymore. That's for sure. Pinocchio. Be brave. I don't know about. I thought it looked good in the stills. Yeah. But Pinocchio seeing him move around like with the eyes, I don't know. You will always be my real boy. Is that it? What the hell? Oh. Oh, September 8th. Wow. I think they should have done better eyes for Pinocchio. Uh, yeah. I mean, I could. we could show that if you'd like. I don't know you, if this is... Is sure. this real? Sure. I mean, go ahead. Uh, I was gonna use I was gonna use this as exclusive for my channel if this is real, but they might if it is real they might take it down. I don't. Uh, Degr uh, rational, are you sending me fake news or is this real? We got to yeah, see. He, <laughs> he's wait, telling you no. Wait, wait, don't it? show it. Don't show it. Okay, why? Can I <laughs> explain what it was? Don't show it. Don't show it. Okay. I was going to ask you about that. How the heck? That might just be... Someone might have just... I, I think someone could have altered it. Mm -hmm. Now it says I don't know. Oh, you don't want to spoil it? But! Honestly, Rational. I'm a little... about talk, you're, you're called the skeptic. Rational skeptic. I'm a little rationally skeptic about this video to think it could be doctored Wait, it might what, just be it might just be video? it might just be well Soraya really is curious now is it bob the spoiler warning for black adam spoiler you gotta put oh, spoiler black warning adam. put spoiler warning up uh spoiler uh but I, I think this image, this video could have been from a different production and they could have just, someone could have just altered it. Let's see it. Okay. I'll, I'll, we could tell. Oh, right. He doesn't want me. To, okay. You don't want me to show it. You're telling, you're saying I'm Matt too. <laughs> Max, let's leave it. Okay. He, I'm sorry. I, I got to go with my source. Doesn't want me to show it. Show it. Um, it's basically, I'll describe it a little bit. It's test footage of something that everyone's curious about a Black Adam, but oh, I don't know if, but I don't know if it's accurate. It, Just show a photo. Photo should be good. Well, now, now I feel weird. Rational doesn't want me to show it. I feel bad yeah, now. Don't I'm sorry. Show, don't show the video. Just show it. Like. I'll show you. I'll show you guys picture, after, picture after, after still, online. Picture is still, it's still. Well, even if I show a picture, it's yeah. gonna. That's true. That's true. I have to. I have to wait. I have to be fair to my source. Respect, Ray. Yeah. Ray, I'll, I'll. I'll show you later. <laughs> I'll show you guys later off air. Uh, wait till October. Okay. Sorry, everyone. I didn't mean to give. Uh, I guess the best way to describe it is blue balls. I didn't mean to give you blue balls, audience. <laughs> if you show, the stream will be taken down. 
Well, so it's just this. <laughs> it's um, footed. He thinks he really thinks we'll get like a copyright. If it, if it is true, if it is real, it's very possible that WB will actually give a strike to your show. Pro- you can't even probably. Here's the thing. Yeah. Here's the thing. Has okay, people post it on Twitter, but it's basically like rational test footage saying it, it's rational. I want to ask you something Has it been posted on Twitter? If it has, has it been taken down off Twitter? Or has other, other people doing the YouTube channels? Has it been taken down on YouTube, on Twitter? If it hasn't, I you could probably get away with it. I'm just well, I, I thought he wanted me to talk about it because he said, Max, yeah. you saw the video I sent you, so I thought he wanted me to talk about it. <laughs> I think All right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Very curious, but I think it could be altered, honestly. Not posted on Twitter. Rhea wants the popcorn. So you might get away with it if it's not posted on Twitter. Rational, can you at least send it to Rhea? Send it to send, to send it to me or um well, I'll show I'll show CGH and Aaron okay. uh, when the stream is done, but send it to Rhea. <laughs> Uh, Jason Ease is here raising hope again on something we don't know if it happens all over again Max isn't calling them out I will call them out if it doesn't happen we don't have that much longer for Black Adam isn't it October? yeah two months New Line Cinema will strike down the stream okay yeah that wouldn't be wise All right. what is this Oh, there's like little stars on the thing. I don't know what that is. Oh, look at this. This is pretty cool. Let me bring this up. Are you guys hyped for Black Adam? Yes. Look at that. Dr. Fate. I think he gets um, a movie. Maybe. I don't know. I, I'm not... Well, I I don't know much about Doctor Fate, so maybe I know Black that. Adam. I, I that, he's but. similar to Doctor Strange, not exactly, but I think that yeah, it's pretty much a copy of Doctor Strange. But <laughs> yes, DC which and one Marvel came first? So. I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, we know DC's older than Marvel, but it necessarily means the characters are older. That's a good oh, question. Wow. Here's a, th- here's a, Degrassi might the, know. From the mind of Matt Jarbo. This is pretty funny on Twitter. With his healing abilities, is Wolverine circumcised? Well, is Wolverine Jewish? I don't think well, he... It doesn't. Well, I mean, Logan's not just. I don't think he's circumcised. I think if he was, it grew back. <laughs> he had it because he had he had his uh, uh, he had his uh, regeneration skills before he got his claws. That's his mutant power. Is his claws are not his powers? Is his regeneration skills right? Yeah, his healing is his power. So the Batman show might go on Hulu. Which means it'll be on Disney Plus in Canada. <laughs> that's true. Hey, well, they know this Apple, Hulu, have... and Netflix have shown interest. If it goes to Disney Watch. Plus, if it goes to Disney so... Plus, I, my conspiracy theory here is 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 becoming true. I have more proof than Disney's going to buy DC. Cool. Well, I... it's all Maybe part of the not... plan, Max. They're going to buy DC. I think they'll buy Warner Brothers because Warner Brothers is aren't they bankrupt right now? They're in debt because huge debt. yeah, so that'd be perfect. So is Disney for... though. Disney's in debt too, but not like this. Disney would swipe up that. Oh oh oh! Dis if if Disney could get their hands on DC, they would. They would watch the uh, Disney well, restore the having universe. having other companies pay licensing for your products is mm-hmm. a better situation to be. Uh, that's great. I still want to see it. It's... No, it's not. No, it's not. Companies do buy out their competition, right? They do buy their competition. Some companies do that. So I don't like. I just. 
But everybody wants Disney to buy everything now these days. Like, come on. Hmm. Yeah, Degrassi. But you, Degrassi, you kind of agree. If 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 one if if Warner Brothers, let me ask you, if Warner Brothers sold to DC, it was you're saying okay, everything DC is up for sale. Do you think Disney would be interested? For I think sure. They'd love to have that on Disney Plus. Or or did because I want because I think because I think I can't I don't know Kevin Feige, but I think if they could get Disney, if they could get Warner Brothers and the DC stuff, I think they'll try anything to get like to some of the DC characters to face off the Marvel characters. Or you know what they could do? They could do a loophole where they sell it to Hulu and then Disney buys Hulu. Disney owns Hulu. They own a certain percentage. They own them. Yes, yeah, true. Yeah, but they, they would. I think they would want Batman and in, in MCU and Superman. Those two mostly. If they could get them. Oh, I, I clicked on one of your articles in the description, CGH. I know. Yes, he he's a trekking uh, Superman fan. Yeah. He definitely would want Superman. I think Batman and Superman would be those first two he would want. Oh, yeah, Jake Garrick. Yeah, not a bad. Tony Gilroy explains how Andor went from five seasons to two. Well, maybe that's why the seasons are longer. It's actually all the stories from five seasons. They just film them back to back. Uh, Let's see if we can get to the... You could... Couldn't possibly physically make five years of the show. I mean, Diego would be like 65. I'd be in a nursing home. We were panicked. We can't sign on to this forever. But he's, we came out of the nursing home and he died. Save getting the plans. Oh, <laughs> this way the death star. I didn't I didn't re- I didn't realize Diego Luna's that old. 65. Is he in his he's early 60s? He's no, he doesn't look any closer. Oh, maybe, maybe they're just saying it would take oh, that long. His character, I think. Yeah, it would take that long to film and all that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We It was like la- about last spring, we were in Scotland, producer Sandy Wollenberg, Diego, and we were like, oh my God, how about we get out of here? How are we going to get out? What's our exit strategy? But then we realized, oh my God, we have four years and we have four blocks. And I went home and I came back and came up with, you know what? Why don't we jump a year? And what's really cool, when we came back for part two, we're going to jump a year and we're going to come back. It's a year later and all this shit's happened, but we're going to come back for a Friday, Saturday, and a Sunday. And we're going to jump a year. Then we're going to do like five, six, seven days and jump a year. And then we're going to do, this is very confusing, to do two weeks um, and jump a year. And the um, final block that we came back to is going to be the last five days before Rogue One. What? I don't understand what he's saying. I mean, yeah, I mean, our final scene of the show is no secret. It's going to be Cassie and Walkie across the tarmac to get in the ship to the rings of Kefreen to meet Daniel Mays, Tivik, informant character that Cassian kills in Rogue One because he's become a liability. He's going there. I don't know. I'm just excited for this series. Yeah. I'm excited for Star Wars coming. Where uh, Disney could buy Warner Brothers. Oh. Hulu would buy Warner Brothers or make a deal with Warner Brothers. And then by the time 2024 comes around, Disney owns Warner Brothers. So there's a loophole that they can legally own and the government can't step in. I don't think they want to, though, CJH. They have so much. They already have to shuffle the release dates just to get... Their Marvel movies, their Star Wars, their Avatars, and all the other projects. Just to, if they have any more properties, they're not going to have any more room in the calendar for their huge epic movies. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't even think they'd want it, honestly. I mean, I'd be up for it, I guess. What well, actually, doing? I I just want to see what this Warner Brothers does first. Well, yeah, I mean, like, what we? How do you do a DC and Marvel if they work together? Because like, you can't. You like whose universe would you work in? You can't you can't make Superman look weak in the Marvel universe or even his own universe. It would be you can't its own use, you, 
yeah. it would be its own universe, kind of like Avatar and all that. I don't know. No, people wouldn't want that. People wouldn't want that. They would want they would want Superman to face like an MCU character. They wouldn't want a new a new universe like a, a new She Hulk. Hulk. Why oh, no? Who's this guy? Hulk? Guess Marvel's woke now. <laughs> who's that guy? Uh, Jack Films. Oh, I don't know who he is. There's a article right here. Why? Well, I, I how long are you planning to go? I'm thinking like 15 minutes. It's gonna be past one for yeah. me. We got we cool? got nine viewers right now, but uh, sure. For 15 minutes more. 15 minutes. Yeah, me too, man. I got. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Warner Brothers CEO David Zaslav reportedly want to restore the Snyderverse. Bring back Justice League 2 and 3, Man of Steel 2. I hear a lot of stuff about Man of Steel 2. I think if they do actually do it, even though Aaron completely disagrees with me, I think a cool way to do it would just be do Man of Steel 2. You know? Are you all right? Who's breathing like that? I... Do you think I, I've thought about this? Um, I don't know if they'll remake A New Hope, but it would be cool to either see like Ewan do the Force Ghost, or even um, they do an animated Clone Wars style of all the movies. That'd be cool. Yeah. I kind of just want to see new. I, I want to see new stuff. How is he trying to restore it? Yeah, who's a source? I don't even think they have enough money to restore it. To be no. honest. Well, you have to if you're gonna make a Justice League movie, it's gonna cost money with or without Zack Snyder. Or to bring back these the Trinity, I mean, it's going to cost money, and he said that's what he wants to do. He I mean, the focus is the Trinity. I think it's that, I think Justice League Two is pretty much going to happen. I just don't think it's going to be Zack Snyder Snyder versus Justice League Two. But if it has Ben Affleck, Gal Gadot, and Henry Cavill, be. yeah, but those actors have a contract with Warner Brothers, not Zack. Yeah, but these are all, all weird arguments, Aaron. It's still a continuation of the storyline. So yeah. all these arguments, what and what is not Snyderverse, it's ridiculous. Both sides. Well, like it it's a continuation. Story about like Lois dying or like Yeah, they're not gonna do that. Like Batman More... dating yeah. whoever, right? Well that wasn't that was in a first draft that he wasn't even gonna yeah. do anymore. Those those yeah. story points. Like so, I, I think um, they should go with the crisis idea that um I think Sam had. Uh, in, um, in well, that's why it was in the turkey Superman. picture. Oh, uh, yeah. It wasn't just the turkey. Zack Snyder turkey. Zack Snyder turkey. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else did you have, CGH, in the. Um. There should be other ones, but I'm going to bring up the turkey. You're bringing up the turkey? When is this? This isn't real. Yeah, I don't know what this is supposed to be. <laughs> what does this mean? Oh, it's it's a new post from Zack Snyder? Maybe it's something to do with Moon? I don't know. I don't know. Probably. He's like the only one that uses Vero. Uh, this, it means the Snyderverse is this restored. Just, no, this is just a tur picture of a turkey. There's no crisis book in the background or, or scripts. So the that's just a, of, that's that's just the turkey. The crisis of the turkeys. <laughs> the turkey crisis. Uh, let me see. I don't know what the hell I said. Oh, you had an article about Wandavision director. 
Yep, directing yeah. Fantastic Four. Looks like it's happening. That's why he left the Star Trek movie. Poor Star Trek. Poor Brian. Oh, Brian. Brian's happy. No, he doesn't care. Yeah, he doesn't care. That's true. Did you want to bring it up or? Oh yeah, sorry. I was looking for something on Twitter. Matt Shackman in talks for Marvel's Fantastic Four movie. Um, yeah, the former Always Sunny director and WandaVision showrunner may head to the Baxter Building in the near future. Ah, uh, WandaVision was one of the highest viewed series on Disney Plus for Marvel, so mm -hmm. I'm open for it. I just, I just, uh, I want to see the Fantastic Four. I want to see the X Men. I see, want to see Wolverine. It's, it's hope because this, because I think this is be his first big movie break, right? I think. Yeah. If I'm correct, because he's more I of a TV director or show one or whatever. Well, don't they have a little? Thing in Wonder Vision about astronauts being lost in space or something like that. And hey, let's be honest, it can be worse than the last Fantastic Four movie. <laughs> the last yeah. Fantastic Four, oh, the Fantastic Four stick, yeah, 2015. I mean, that Batman costume is horrible. Oh my god, the Justice League Mortal Batman costume. Oh my god. I would have liked to see this. This looks fun. Martian Moon Hunter looks this, cool. You know this is this is supposed to set up uh their own universe. Is there any video footage? Look at that Batman costume. Oh my god, that's that's ugly. You have to agree. You think that's that's ugly, huh? Oh my god. It's just concept art. The BBS yeah, but fun. ugly concept art. <laughs> no, but they actually had costumes. They had costumes from the movie. Like I I've seen them before. Mm -hmm. Shackman was the little brother of the Growing Pain spinoff, Just the Ten of Us. Huh. Well, any more topics we have for tonight? I don't think so. I think that's it. Did you look? Did you watch She Hulk episode two, CJH? Not yet. No. But uh, I do have this video. Uh, hmm. What's this? And you know, very, yeah. Right. Movement. Yeah. On the cage. So it's not. It's not there. And the one is doing it. So Nick, like, wait, like movement and stuff seems pretty good. Why did they want him to be Superman? It's so weird. I want to see this. Uh, yeah. It's going to be set in the Tim Burton universe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's amazing. Wow. That's that looks the good. Thing. Yeah, but yeah. That, that looks, that works. You know, you know, we figure out what the suit is. Right? Remember, we can't talk about like a chemical, like baby blanket or something yeah. almost, you know? That kind of looks like it has a life of its own, but it's, it's a lot of, like, almost more chemical properties. It's, yeah. It's, I love the sparkle thing. It really gives, but it has the imagination of the child. Sparkle does. Yeah, yeah, I know the grass. Yeah. 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 We even just just it's different. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. so weird but, looking. Yeah, that gives it that that's that thing too. We were talking. We were talking about like when he's that that he's just more heightened. So yeah, exactly. we would do yeah. And yeah. this, this is nowhere near strong enough. For all yeah, that's yeah. what you like. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I like to try that. that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Try yeah. that. I like the idea that it gets wild. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, it's, in, in, in that comic, it's got a strength to it, you know? I, I, I like it. I'm starting to get attached to this length. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John Schnapp, I just never saw it, Degrassi. I want to see it. No, but we are here, so we might as well show it as much as we can. Yeah. The only thing is, like, what was wrong with the original costume was that he wore his underpants on the outside. I know. <laughs> like, maybe if Nick Cage is the blueprint. Maybe if they weren't wearing red. What does the cape mean exactly? I know. Well, that's, you know, that's another, you know. That's something yeah, why does Superman that, need a uh, cape? I mean, I was going to treat it again the same way. Like, it's just... It's a fly. That's why we're here. We're sealed. Yeah, we're... I understand why Batman needs a cape, but why does... All the... 
I don't know why that it's such a low cut on his neck. Yeah. We know we're doing a fairy tale. Yeah. Yeah. Like we're yeah not I, it too I, seriously. It's not too much. Yeah. I think you just. I think you want to see this. <laughs> yeah. With, I think in it's, actually, in its uh, entirety without it going. Did you design the S one? Well, we kind of took it off from the more modern ones where it's a little just yeah, it's sleeker. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's the whole thing. That's we we would one. make it reminiscent of whatever we see on Krypton. That's the whole thing. My father wore this cake. <laughs> so this cake was handed down to me. Exactly. For, this cake was from a long line of Kryptonians who were at the top of the field in science. It's so long. weird. It was Clark. Uh, when we left after our last meeting, Clark Kent and that t shirt. You know, you know what I think? So you had an idea which this now, seeing you like this, the kind of mismatched kind of. Remember we were talking about more wilder. Well, we were talking about things. having like a Mickey Mouse cheek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty that. sure he would not go back to work looking at the hair like that and also as a journalist. Superman, like Superman and Superman. Superman and Superman. Nobody would think this is Superman. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I agree. Jesse, like, what are these guys that decide? Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. You know how there's always a joke that with his glasses off, like how you know the glasses, the glasses off thing. Man, it's so easy to detect him as Superman. I think with the hair, it makes it even so much easier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too well disguised. Yeah. Very <laughs> white journalist. You know, that character is such a bullseye that you have to hit. He's almost, you know, he's one of the most precious icons of our country. Um, and the fact that uh, Tim and I were pretty far down the road designing it, and I know with Tim... <laughs> And where I was going to go, we would have done something really special. At least it's out there in the ether that that could have happened, but it doesn't have to. We don't have to make the movie. It's still interesting to people. <laughs> That's cool. It makes me want to watch. Eventually, the got to play Superman in the Lego Movie. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, just... Was it the Lego Movie or it was a? It was an animated movie. Hmm. It could, in the case, yes, it was an animated movie. It could be Lego. Well, that's true. Uh, I want to. I want to see that documentary now, for sure. Uh, let me see. Oh, I think it might have been Teen Titans. Huh. All right. Caden well, thanks. Joined us. Hey, Caden. Oh, we're at the end. <laughs> the end. <laughs> yeah, I am like oh, for uh, Black Adam. Mike is muted. Caden, do you know where you're at, Hello? brother? Yeah, I do. What's going on? Oh, good. Any news? Not really. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, then. I wasn't sure oh, what you guys were doing. Rational Skeptic says I can't share that with anyone. All right. Sorry. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm getting sleepy now. What have you been up to, Caden? Um, I don't know. You don't know what you've been up to. Have you been gaming? You you like video games? What do you watch movies? I, I, I was watching uh, uh, some shows. What shows? I was rewatching uh, the um, Fox uh, 
sitcom New Girl on Netflix. And um, catch up on Harley Quinn. Oh, I still gotta watch Harley Quinn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I mean, so, yeah, that's what's going on. Awesome. Not really much. Oh, well, well yeah. Oh, yeah. Not really anything other than that. And some other things, but other than that, not really much. All right. All right. I do want to talk to you, Max, after. Though. Okay. Oh, okay. There's Make something that happened. Oh, yeah. no. Um, okay. I, I, I'll talk to you after. All right. Okay. So, uh, that was a good stream. Good stream. Yeah, thanks, CJH. Stay at school. Uh, enjoy school. Enjoy, enjoy it, you know. So I'm going to do the outro, and then we'll talk backstage. Okay.